dick can follow up. My dick don't work. <laughs> my dick don't fucking work. <laughs> I think it was like they wouldn't eat. I think there was another game we were playing a long time ago where you're like, <laughs> like you're getting hit by enemies. You're like, oh no, my dick don't work. <laughs> it's like, what? How's that even relevant to this? Welcome back. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I died right here. Okay, perfect. Let's just go back right here. <clears throat> Welcome back to my dick don't work. Billy? Yeah. Are you familiar with Wesley Willis? Who? Wesley Willis. Wesley Snipes? No. No, then. There was a... <laughs> there was a... I think back in like the 90s, there was this dude named Wesley Willis who wrote music. And um, he... <laughs> I think he had, I don't know if he was, like, autistic or something, I have no idea, but, like, um, he had some sort of condition or something like that, and, like, he would end up writing songs, like, he would, like, you know, like, on a, like, one of those, like, you know, like, consumer-grade, um... Is he the guy that did the McDonald's song? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, Rock and Roll yes, McDonald's, yes, yeah, I yeah. Yes, I do know him then. Yeah, like, the, so he would have, like, the player, like, the... Like the consumer grade electronics, like pianos that you could buy, and he would just play the loops on there and just like sing over them. Rock and roll, <laughs> yeah, that's Wesley Willis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, what about him? I don't know. It just made me think of it for some reason because I'm like, let's rock and roll this thing. God damn it! <laughs> like that's the type of shit that he would say. Like, there's a footage of him like in the, like the '90s, like playing live shows, and he's got like a like a loose leaf notebook in front of him with all the lyrics. And then his band is like a legit band. Like they're playing like these rock songs for him. He's like, "We're gonna rock and roll." Like we're gonna rock and roll Saddam Hussein's ass. <laughs> like he says a bunch of weird shit like that, but it's so funny. Rock and roll McDonald's. Rock over London. Rock over New York. Arby's. I think we have the beats. I think about him every once in a while. Yeah. Dude's iconic, man. He had a future that was cut short, I'm sorry to say. He's he's dead, but voice of a generation. Alright. Got some foot soldiers garbs. Billy, what what is the uh, what is the goal here? We're just you're just exploring your Zelda in Zelda it up? Uh yeah, I got I got a Zelda hit up. So that I can Elden Ring it we had later. Play, we had to play that again, too. Wind Waker. Zelda? Yeah, at some point. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were playing Wind Waker. Yeah, if we have time today, we can play it. But I'm not, like... I'd like to get back to it eventually. But, you know... Yeah. We got these other games that we wanted to play today. More important than Zelda... Who even plays Nintendo anymore? Babies. Big doo-doo babies. <clears throat> I'm not going to dis disagree with you. <laughs> I'm a big doo-doo baby when I play Nintendo games. <laughs> yeah. They, um... I've been waiting... For, like, I bought... They have, like, a like a new course pack coming out for Mario Kart 8. <clears throat> and I <clears throat> bought it. And, like, initially, like, you know, they released the first, like... Because it's, like, divided by cups, right? So, like, each cup is four tracks. And they, they released the first eight, tra like, tracks pretty early on, like, after you bought it. But, like, they've got so many more cups to release, and they haven't released another one okay. yet. Okay. Like, by the end of December 2023 is when all these tracks are supposed to come out. It's like, how fuck... Like, they're not developing these tracks. Like, they must be made. Like, I don't understand how hard it can be to make, like, a map. Especially of, like, old tracks. They're, like, all old tracks. Oh, so they're just, like, updating them visually? Yeah, like, but even, like, I'm gonna be honest, like, visually, they don't really look that good. <laughs> like, in my opinion. Just some hodgepodge together Yeah, shit. well, it's just, like, really flat textures, like, you know, and, and not that I'm expecting anything, like, you know, revolutionary out of, out of a Mario Kart game, but still, it's like, you know, they... You know, I feel like a lot of the textures, at least in some of the rehashed levels, are kind of flat looking, in yeah. my opinion. But whatever. Like, again, you're not really intently looking at it because you're driving and, you know, it's a Mario Kart game, whatever. It's not supposed to look like, you know, pseudo realistic or anything. But, like, I, you know, I feel like they released this pack back in, like, April. And it's fucking July. And they still haven't released more maps for it. Ugh. And they're supposed to all be out by December 2023. It's like, why are you making us wait that long for this fucking shit? You know, the more that I've gotten older, the less tolerant 
to Nintendo's oh, bullshit. A lot, of, a lot of people have, man. Remember the backlash that they had for like for that like um, that creator shit. Yeah, yeah. But then there was like, but then there was like the there was like a like a Nintendo Online subscription thing, and then for like. Sixty dollars. The only thing that you got more than like the base twenty five dollar model for the year was like an emulator thing and like one other little piddly shit thing. It's like, are you fucking serious? Yeah. Like, people are not going to spend sixty dollars for a yearly subscription for like not that much more content. So people were pissed about that. <clears throat> but I think I feel like a lot of people are that way now, where they're like fed up with Nintendo's. Uh, I think it's bullshit. just a whole tonal shift. Yeah. In well, terms of, like... Because it is. It's Because, like, well, Nintendo, like, time and time again, it has proven that they don't give a fuck about the consumer. Yeah, <laughs> no, they don't. Like, they don't give a shit about the consumer. They don't even give a shit really that much about their own properties. <laughs> like, like they've proven that. again. Like, again, time and time again, they've proven that. Like, there's a lot of people who are, like, into, like, digital, like, conservation of, like, history and stuff, you know? Like, a lot of their... A lot of the old games and stuff... Or, like, being, like, you know, especially, like, with the closure of the Wii U store and stuff, like, a lot of those games you can't get anymore. And, like, people are trying to, like, you know, preserve that. Yeah. Because it's, like, there's something to be said for, like, digital media that, you know, has was created and no longer can be accessed. And, like, <laughs> you're getting fucked up. <laughs> um, but, like, yeah, like, Nintendo has, like, no interest in, like preserving old games like in case people have bought copies of them and no longer can get them or otherwise like they don't yeah, no, they don't care they don't care if they if they're not making money on it yeah they, they don't give a shit yeah mm-hmm. so it's like yeah i do think that there has been a tonal shift recently and it's like you know i appreciate that nintendo is still like innovating gaming even to this day but it's like they 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 really drop the ball on like customer yeah they're not really doing a good job on that front I think but you know whatever I wonder how much like um franchise fatigue is setting in for certain people too yeah because it's like I, you know me I think Zelda is like worn the fuck out like oh yeah they Zelda's to, been worn like the they out. need to do either something completely different with it or just do something new entirely I feel like, Breath of the Wild is a, is a solid game, but it's not a fucking 10 out of 10 masterpiece like everybody says it is. <laughs> and, like, they've had their two flagship franchises running, like, ever since they, like, first were, like, you know, thought up. Yeah. You know, so Mario and Zelda, and it's, like, all these other, like, franchises that just kind of let rot away. Like, I know some people really want, like, a new F-Zero. Yeah. Everybody's wanted a new F Zero ever since GX, which was like in two thousand three. Like, Apparently, like, there was a guy who actually bought a bunch of shares in Nintendo just so he could ask the question if uh, there was going to be another F Zero game. And all they said is like, no. "We can't comment on uh, future." They're not working on one. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed, they're not working on one. What did they do? What they did with GX? They had Sega develop it, I think. Like, get somebody else to develop it. Sega owns Atlas. Have Atlas do it. Mm. Atlas makes pretty good games. I mean, I don't know how I don't know how Atlas would handle a racing game, but... Yeah. Oh, really? Yep. Really? If it's 20 meters or more, you die. That was, like, 18 meters. No. 20 meters or more, you die. That's the... That's the limit. Bunch of bitches. Even if it's like one centimeter more than 20 meters, you die. But yeah. Um, yeah, Nintendo sucks in that regard. Yeah. I got I a like, lot of companies suck now, yeah. nowadays. <laughs> I like, like, don't get me wrong, like, I, I enjoy the Switch. I think it's a great console. Um, but, yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to buy an emulator on for an NES game on your fucking console. <laughs> Stop cheating. Just stay where I can slice you. Sure, I'm on a horse and it's not fair, but fuck you. I'm the guy on the horse. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. There we go. You've got the advantage. Are you gonna do the mausoleum? There's no, no. reason to right now. No. <laughs> 
these guys suck. Watch out for the big ball. Oh, frame drop. I'm gonna go see uh, hide uh, the what's her face. The salad. I can't do anything with you yet. Oh. Um, what are you supposed to do with her? I never figured out what to do with her. Well, you gotta go talk to her self, and then after you defeat Radon. <clears throat> Is that Selen or something? Yep. Oh. I remember finding Selen, but I never knew what to do with her, so I kind of just locked her. Can, can, can I? Can, I'm, I'm, I'm just, You're I'm fucked. Just, You're fucked. I'm just trying to. There's a lot of arrows in my face. Thank you, guys. Anyway, fuck it. I was thinking that, but too, the like the franchise fatigue with like um, Pokemon, because Pokemon mostly appeals to thirty-something-year-old people who grew up with it, right? Yeah. Um, but I feel like even those people are kind of like like they notice that like they've been phoning it in on these newer Pokemon games. I haven't played one since Gold version or some shit. Like I have not kept up on that at all but like um I feel like even some of those people are kind of like man Pokemon kind of sucks now yeah so I don't know maybe that'll start to happen more I don't know yeah I don't know what's gonna happen you know it, it's easy to uh just to say like nothing's gonna get better anytime soon but you gotta hope yeah Seen an age, an age, a whole age. Well, with, this is what I've been waiting for. Well, with <laughs> with Nintendo, honestly, I, I don't see it getting any better. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. <laughs> Unfortunately, maybe maybe we'll be surprised. Who knows? All right, give me that. There we go. Because you can't play an Elden Ring on a Nintendo. Nope. You know. Look at us now. We're all lit up. Isn't that happy? Like a little happy clam now. Like a little happy tree. No, no, no. I'm sorry, I yelled at you. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't stop. I know it's part of your condition, I'm sorry. I just get so angry. <laughs> I get so angry. Okay, so I got that one, I got the other one. We can do this up here. Go fight the hardest boss on this uh, weeping peninsula. Is that the minor Erd Tree Avatar? No, no, no. This is a tower. I don't remember what's up here. Is it the Tower of Madness? Tower of Return. Isn't there a gate up here? No, it's a trap. Trap oh, chest. Oh, it's a trap. That's what I'm thinking of. I know that there was a. Um, I don't fucking guess. One of them near uh, uh, the red. Uh, capital or whatever mm -hmm. um, to like go into that, but I never did that. <laughs> I only discovered it after I had already like defeated Radon and all that. <laughs> you guys can't catch me. <laughs> oh shit! I forgot oh, about the trap. Tra <laughs> he goes through the trap with you. <laughs> I like that in this game actually. Like the I like how it's not traditional mimic chests, but the transporter ones. I think that's kind of fun because it's. Like, I do miss the mimics though. Yeah, but I think it's kind of fun just because it's like, um... Okay, time to go free, uh, defeat Margit. <laughs> Margit. <laughs> Is there anything for us to do up here right now? Yeah. Know. Like, I know there's the golem, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't and we get a nice, cool, uh, talisman. Uh, which I'm probably gonna skip the golem, because he's... Yeah, oh yeah, you just run to the right and get it, yeah. People putting their fucking messages on shit. Oh! <laughs> well, just in time. Whatever. That is a good one. I use that one quite a bit, actually. Yeah, just, you know, it's better than the fire one right now. Cause yeah, because you're not really fighting anything fire related. And even when I am, I never use it. I generally don't either. Yeah, the, the Blessed Do one I put on just like for when I'm exploring and kind of just going through like a level, but I might change it out for like when I'm fighting a boss or something. Yeah. So it, doesn't really, it doesn't really help a whole lot when you're fighting a boss. Yeah, that one's pretty good for... 
<laughs> regular <laughs> exploration and shit. See you later, loser. I do like this gigantic, like, um, solidified dragon. Yeah. In Lundell, it's pretty cool. Just because of how immensely huge it is. I feel like, again, like I know we mentioned it in the last one, but like mounting uh, creatures would be really cool, but I feel like there's a fine line between um, making something that like feels cinematic without scripting it too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I would, I think it would be cool to be able to like, I don't know, like fight and kill some of those gigantic monsters from the inside, but like I don't want it to be super scripted like a fucking EA game or something. You know? Yeah. Kind of like how Lost Planet did it. Lost Planet did it in that one boss fight where you, like, crawl into the guy and then shoot him from the inside. Like, it's not, like, a big spectacle thing, and, like, it's a triggerable um, state for him to be in for you to enter his mouth. And then in real time, like, you have... Yeah, you have... But you have control over it the entire time. It's not, like, a scripted cutscene with, like, a bunch of, like, God of War-esque fucking QTEs or something. Yeah. You know? I know there's a skip... But I don't remember how to do it, so I'm not. To get to the it. bottom of this? Yeah. Uh, I think I remember seeing it too, but I don't know how to do it. Yeah, yeah. Who would design this, like this way, to like, not be able to like activate the elevator from one end? <laughs> yeah, it's just rusty. <laughs> I guess. And then once it uh, opens up on the bottom one, it's like, all right, yeah, you, now it's good. That. This is, like, the first thing to be, like, this map is huge. Yeah, until you realize that that whole middle part is just, all, like, ocean. Yeah. <laughs> it's still a huge map, though. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I might be complaining. I don't know. I haven't decided yet if I'm complaining. It's just, it's just like, yeah, you think that it's, like, that much bigger, but it's, like, you know. Yeah. I always <clears throat> like it in games also when um, you have to uncover the map. Um, but, like... Not doing it through like an Ubisoft style scaling up a, a tower to like look at shit, <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, that's dumb. Like, I feel like this game did a decent job of that because it's like, you know, um, like it's kind of cryptic at first in how you uncover the map, but then like they do kind of hint at it in different ways, like when you look at it, you know? Yeah. Um, I always like that in, in open world games, like having to uncover the map. Unless it's GTA, there's no reason for it in GTA. <laughs> okay. da, 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 da. Yeah, that should be fine. Welcome back to Matthew Matosa's Chaps. Oh, you're fine. Fungus, you're fine. I always forget that we're a uh, female. This is a lot like the, uh, reminds me of the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. Kind of. Yeah. A lot of vibes of that. Remember that unsheath move, man? You got that unsheath move. You can do it with the, the shield equipped. There we go. I had to take that off because I was, uh, fat rolling. rolling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you would, you bitch. Yeah, we gotta find the right. Uh, ooh, we gotta find the right shield for for this build here. You don't have a lighter shield that has 100% mm, attack, like now. absorption. No, thank you. Don't need that. Come at me, come at me, Boreal Valley, bitch. Yeah. It's very Boreal Valley esque for sure. Yeah. I like I like oh, when games get geez. inspired by themselves. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what they needed for Dead Rising Four. Because <laughs> I read I read into that game quite a bit, and they like were trying to like I think initially oh, this is like for them proposing Dead Rising Five was like they were citing like oh we want to make it like a Dark Souls oh we want to make it more like a GTA oh we want to do this it's like just make it like a fucking Dead Rising game <laughs> like you have the blueprint like you yeah. have access to the blueprint like just do that. 
I guess you gotta do that one, yeah, for now, huh? 89%, that's better than, you know, nothing. Well, the other one was like 68 or something. Yeah. <clears throat> Weeping Ever Jail. Weeping Peninsulars Ever Jail. Do you know what you get from fighting this dude? Nope, don't even remember. You just want to fight him? Yep. At what point should we go back to the, um... Oh, there you go. Uh, to Stormvale. Uh, probably after we finish... Uh, what's its face? Get that bleed build up. Let's try it. Oh, oh my. <clears throat> That's what I thought you were going to be doing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that shield's, I can't got, use that it shield's got parry. You gotta two hand it. Oh, oh bitch. You did the sub zero. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if that was of one of the Ever Jail bosses. You just go just up and sub zero and he's just. <laughs> Get off. Yeah, that's that's Scorpion. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't think sub zero says anything. Oh, no, he's just. Licks those lips. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, is it cold in here to you? I'm gonna rip your spine out. <laughs> so that's what this game needs is fatalities. <laughs> I would give this game a 10 out of 10, but not enough fatalities for my liking, you know? They play a Spongebob game, and they're like, 10 out of 10, but I don't know fatalities. <laughs> You're a bitch. Only bitches need shields. As I have a shield on my back. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, that's cheating. Nobody likes ice. Flame weapon ring or anything. Yo! Yo! It is I who dodge now. Oh my god! I can't believe you dodged by jumping. <laughs> that like never works for me. Oh no! Nope. Is that give you like frostbite or something? Yeah. This dude must be pretty uh, immune to bleed, I would think, huh? He's not bleeding by now. Yeah. Dang, son. Oh, I was doing so well. Oh, and then you get frostbite yeah, and then <laughs> All right, well, next time on Chosen Champs, we maybe go to Stormvale. Yeah, I think so. I'll oh, take the cool. Stormvale. Sweet. <laughs>